after creating your group, in this case, reflections of using Flipgrid, we might decide we want to change the image or we want to change the settings in some way. So there are different ways that we can do that. We can go to the edit group here and it will take us back to the page which we originally used to populate the group. We're happy with the name. We might want to change the image there and we can do that by clicking edit theme there and finding an image. We can find images across there or we can import our own images and we can change the way in which we distribute this to our students. But the other thing we can do here is go over to settings and we can change some of the settings there if we wish to. One of the things that you might want to think about is this one here where all group members can view and respond to topics. Now, ultimately, that's what you would want to do so that once you've set up your group, once you've set up your topic, all your students, group members can access it and respond to it. But it might be that when you are creating it or once you've finished using it, you might want to deactivate that. And so just by toggling across there, you can see that the group can be hidden and no one will be able to see or find the group uh, once you do that. So you would click hide group if you wish to do that. There are no block members, but you can block members. And um, once you have members in the group, similarly with notifications, you can allow notifications for members as soon as a video has been posted. If you don't think you want that, then you can just deactivate that as well. But once it is activated, you also have a choice about how frequently you receive those notifications. So by clicking on the drop down there, you can have them daily, weekly, every new video and comment that might be something you want to think about especially if you're setting this work up outside of the classroom and you want to know when the piece of work has been submitted and completed or you might decide you don't want that at all if you don't want it ever then you can simply just toggle that so that's off so once you've done that set those changes up obviously you can save changes there and then those settings have been changed